All right, chapter 6, lesson 4 says multiply by fives. You can use patterns to multiply by fives or counting by fives, right? Multiply by a number that is, and by a number is the same as skipping, skip counting by that number. So look at the example. It says Leandro has seven nickels. Skip count by fives to find seven times five. So he has how many nickels? Seven. So we're going to go five. And plus five more would be ten. And then, wait. So we went skip count five, ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Okay. We skip count. So seven times five is going to be thirty-five cents. Okay, or we just added 5 plus 5 is 10, and 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, 20 plus 5 is 25, 25 plus 5 is 30, and 35 plus 5 is 35. 30 plus 5 is 35. So 7 nickels is how many cents again? 35. And 7 times 5 is 35. Notice the pattern when you multiply by fives, everything changes. And the product is either going to have a zero or a five. A zero or a five, the product's going to have. So it could be five, zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And look, as a zero, five, zero, five, zero, five. There's that pattern. So look at where they have the extended pattern. We have 0, 5, 10, 15. So five, uh, 4 times 5 is going to be 20. And then I have 5 times 5, 6 times 5, and 7 times 5. So 5 times 5 is going to be 25. Then what comes next? What? 30. And then 35. So see, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five. There's the pattern. Oh. Look at example number two. It says a watermelon patch has six rows, right? Six rows. And I told you already, look, they have six rows. Each row has five watermelons. Each row has five watermelons. How many watermelons are in the farmer's patch? Well, what did he do first? What, what is this called? It's called an array. See, it says draw an array with six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rows. And they said that each row has how many watermelons? Five. 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 One, two, three, four, five. Now use community property to draw another array with five rows. So now I have five rows. One, two, three, four, five. So in this array, I had uh, six rows with five each. Here I'm going to have five rows with how many? Okay. Six in each one. So go ahead and draw that. Oh, you know what? Green for water. How's that? One, two. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I done? Am I done yet? No, I still need one more row. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in this array, there are how many rows again? The first array, how many rows are there? Six. six. And how many in each row? Five. five. So there are six rows of five. So six times five is going to be 30. <laughs> so the unknown is 30. So there are 30 watermelons in the farmer's patch. Now here's this array right here. Okay. 
there are how many rows are here? Five. How many in each row? Six. So five times six is thirty. Okay, so the unknown is thirty. Okay, so if I have six times five and five times six, are the answers are the answers gonna be different or the same? The same. It's just community property. It doesn't matter in what order that I have the factors, my product is going to be the same. As long as I have the three same numbers. Call the fact family, huh? Right? We can look at it, friends. Right? It says skip count by five to find each product. Draw the lines to match. Okay? All the fives, I'm just going to skip kind of by five. The first number tells me how many fives I have, right? So number one, it's going to go to where? The first one, second one, third one, or last one? The second one. Because I need to have how many fives? Four of them. One, two, three, four. And what's four times five? Twenty. Twenty. Number three, three times five is going to go where? Gonna go where? The last one at the bottom. Here, right? Why? Why that one? It has three fives. Because I'm skip counting by fives. And three times five would be? Fifteen. Fifteen. Number eight, number three, it has eight fives. The top one, you're right. So eight times five is gonna be? Forty. How do I know that? Well, five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And then obviously number four is the third one because I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. 